The catfish, one of America's and the world's favorite fish to catch. This is your best boatless catfishing guide on how to catch the biggest, best bank catfish for your buck. So in this video, we're going to cover the best baits to use for each type of catfish, the most effective rig setup you're going to need, and some important habits and characteristics of the catfish that's going to help us better understand how, when, where, and why they feed like they do. All catfish rely very heavily on their sense of taste and smell to find food. That's what their whiskers or barbels are actually for. They're covered in taste buds. They also have thousands of taste buds all over the rest of their body since they don't have scales like so many other fish do. So let's cover the best baits you should be using to catch each type of catfish in your particular body of water. First thing to know about catfish is they love baits that are high in fat, protein, salt, and even oil. And if the bait smells very strongly, even better, they'll be able to find it from a good distance away. Bait number one is the live nightcrawler, which will catch channel catfish and bullheads all day long. The natural scent trail and wiggle of the worm is irresistible to catfish, and it will also help you catch just about any other fish that's swimming in that lake too. And in order to catch even bigger catfish, just put two big worms onto a bigger circle or octopus hook and hold on tight because that's going to be caviar to catfish. The other advantage to using a can of worms is that for about $5, you can fish all afternoon long on live worms and likely catch multiple catfish all day in the process. Bait number two is cut bait also irresistible to every species of catfish that breathes and swims. Every human that fishes for catfish has likely used some form of cut bait before to draw in bites from our whiskered friends. And remember, the messier and meatier and bigger the bait you use, likely the bigger fish you're going to be able to catch. So just cut up three to four inch pieces of shad, suckers, perch, herring, etc., onto your 5 out 0 or bigger blood red hook, and if it's legal in your state to do so, live bluegills, 5 to 6 to 7 inches long, hook them up at the front since most fish attack prey head first, and that will catch you the biggest flathead catfish that live in that there pond or lake. And bait number three is just as popular as the first two choices and is stink bait. Yep, the name says it all. Remember, we've already said that catfish have an extraordinary sense of smell. So nothing can be too offensive smelling for their liking. And as soon as you open up the package of stink bait, you're going to use, you'll know right away why it is named that way. This stuff is very potent and highly concentrated and is very good at, at its job, actually, being quite repulsive to the human nostril, but a delicacy to the catfish. And you'll know why when you get a whiff of this stuff. And you probably shouldn't use stink bait if you've got a queasy or sensitive stomach either, because it's really not for the faint of heart. But it is excellent for drawing in catfish from as much as a couple hundred yards away. And honestly, once you cast it out, and if you don't get a bite in about 15 to 20 minutes, you should consider changing spots, actually, because if they're hungry, they would have likely found it by then. Bait number four is chicken liver. Just as grotesque as the previous baits, many diehard catfish anglers swear by chicken liver as a fail-safe go-to bait when nothing else seems to be working on that day. You can usually get it cut up at your local butcher shop, but you might want to consider wearing gloves when you're handling it because of the reek factor. If you don't want to use the real thing, understood? Catfish Charlie brand makes these in dough ball format, and you can just ball up two or three or four of these on your big hook, and they stay together pretty well. 
Now, here's a great tip us old-timers use when baiting up chunks of real chicken liver, and that is to use pieces of old pantyhose, which help keep the bait firmly together so you can cast it out farther to the deepest holes in the lake, which is where the bigger catfish are going to be. And it's real easy to run the hook through, too, this way. So the next time you are buying pantyhose at the store and the clerk asks you why, as a man, you're buying hosiery, just tell them you're going catfishing tonight with live chicken liver. Questions answered. Okay, bait five, my favorite actually, frozen cheese-filled hot dogs. This bait has outfished all the prior four choices for me in every lake we have fished. Yes, it's my go-to power bait of choice to catch primarily channel catfish, but bullheads also love them too. You got to make sure you keep them frozen though so that they stay firmly hooked when you cast out to the deepest pools like we've talked about. The combination of fat, protein, cheese, and salt in these dogs is just what the doctor ordered to catch hungry channels. Just hook about half of a frozen hot dog onto your blood red large hook and usually within minutes if there are catfish in there they'll come to check out this bait firsthand. You can also use regular all beef or chicken turkey hot dog mix to catch cats too but the cheese filled franks work head and shoulders better than a normal hot dog. And while we're talking about all these magical meaty baits for catfish, did you know that the Arkansas state record blue catfish was caught in 2001 for a 116-pound monster blue on Spam, of all things? So, believe me, you can't go wrong with any of the aforementioned five baits to catch all kinds of catfish. And I'm sure if you browse the internet, you'll find lots of other homemade concoctions people have used all over the world at one point or another to catch cats. But I promise you, use any and all of these five baits and you'll have catfish in your belly if that's what you want. Okay, let's talk catfish habits and behavior. Catfish are actually nocturnal. Their preferred feeding time is during nighttime where they look for food after dusk and are much more active and much more aggressive than in the daytime. You've actually probably seen photos of the biggest of catfish people catch taken in the middle of the dark night, right? During the day, they of course still do feed. You'll most likely find them in the deepest holes or pools in the lake and also in areas of heavy cover or deep structure, drop-offs, deep holes, things like that, and any type of fallen trees or sunken timber where they can hide out. They're mostly bottom-dwelling fish, and did you know, most catfish are very solitary. They prefer to live in secluded areas of the lake where they can hide and ambush prey whenever. Catfish also have great hearing. That's why you have to quietly and stealthily sneak up on them if you're fishing from the bank or shoreline. Sound waves travel through the water and are picked up by their swim bladder, so they'll hear you coming. And did you know they have four pairs of bones called a Weberian apparatus that are connected from the swim bladder to their inner ear? Thus, they have superb hearing and an extra sensitive pressure change. Catfish are also called the swimming tongue because they have all those taste buds all over their body, like we've mentioned. And that particularly suits them well in muddy or murky water because even though they can't see your bait, most likely, they're certainly going to smell it and taste it, and they're just as predatory and aggressive. Okay, now for the fun part, the gear you're going to need to catch big catfish. All you really need is a big 8 or 9 foot heavy fiberglass rod like you're seeing here that has a very strong backbone and a larger spinning reel like these that have sufficient line capacity. And in terms of the line to use, we use 50 pound moss green color braided line which is more than adequate to catch any catfish we've mentioned in these videos today and you see the moss green color right there 
And remember with catfish, it's the bait that catches them, not your rod and reel. So you don't have to get overly fancy and overly expensive. Okay, you're going to start here with a sharp blood red octopus hook in a 5-0 or maybe a 7-0 if you're going for big flatheads. And then we use the peg float, which you see here, and a swivel, which allows you to switch out sinkers for added depth depending on how far out you're gonna cast. And you're gonna see my heavy duty Carlisle Big Bopper Bobber here, which I use all the time in eight to 10 foot of water. Obviously, if you're fishing in deeper water and you gotta cast out farther, you can't use a bobber. Go get them, gang, have fun, good luck. Okay, hey folks, thanks for watching. Please like this video, hit the subscribe button before you leave, and don't forget to enable your bell notifications so you never miss another great video coming your way.